Okay, two more. Um, we're recording this in November. Um, these two I just got within the past uh, month, uh, less. It is um, interesting because one, this one by Barry Higgins was advertised on eBay as being in the key of G, but it's F sharp and it's such a nice flute, I, I just wanted to keep it. And this one is a new one made in 2017 by J.P. Gomez. Now, I've never uh, played any of his flutes before this year, uh, this past month, and they have quite a nice sound. This is made of aspen. It's a walnut uh, block, a hummingbird. But it's here, let's see if you can tell the difference of the, of the tone from the last two. As a full sound, this is a fairly wide bore. Um, pretty sure this is also split into two pieces. You can see the line if you look close. And he, he does good work. Now this is an older flute. I don't know how old, maybe 15 years. Um, White Crow flutes, Barry Higgins. I think this material is uh, spruce but I'm not sure. It's a harder wood. It's lighter. has uh, end caps that are pretty. Um, it's a little harder to play with your fingers because you can notice these holes open up on the bottom three. So it's a little challenging sometimes uh, to, to hit the bottom fundamental. But listen to the, to the difference in tone. of a cutting edge sound compared to the Gomez flute, which is a softer sound. They're both nice um, and both fun to play. I uh, hope you've enjoyed these little comparisons. Now stay tuned for a secret on a Renaissance recorder in F. <laughs>